Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and I'm very glad to see you here. A few weeks ago we did an anatomical study with one of those little models, a 3D sculpture uh, that has all the muscles and tendons in it. Today we will use a similar figure but of a woman. This is also produced by the British company 3D Total. And this time we will use it, but not for an anatomical story, but rather for a very artistic drawing. We begin by sketching the head with a cross as reference, then a mood line for the pose, and I mark the shoulders and hips tilted to give some movement to the pose and so that it doesn't look stiff in any way. The mood line that I mentioned is the essence of the pose or you could call it a line of action if the figure were in motion. We erase the lines that we don't need anymore. And we begin sketching the first fish. This will be a surrealistic drawing, as you can see. It will have some fish flying around her, and she will be in the water up to the hips. Here we will have another flying fish, and over here, another one. Well, in reality, these are not flying fish as a type. They are in the air, but I'm basing them more on a beta fish. The 3D model I have of the woman helps me a lot representing a correct structure, anatomically. We switch leads to a softer one. I love my pencil. And with this, we begin shading. The British company 3D Total was very kind to send me this model, but even more to offer one for you. We will raffle one of these sculptures among this channel's followers. The winner of the raffle will be able to choose between the fully anatomical model with all the muscles, or the one that is half and half, or the one that is all covered with skin. What you have to do to participate is share this video on Fine Art Tips Facebook page. The Facebook page is spelled Fine Art hyphen Tips. Participation is open from now to this Friday the 18th. The winner will be announced this Saturday 19th on Facebook. 3D Total will ship the sculpture from England all the way to the winner's home. We draw the scales to the fish and shade the fins. Of course, they should have parts that are more light and parts that are in shadow to achieve the effect that they are waving. We do the eye and then continue with other fins. Even some of the flippers may be in front of some other ones. And to indicate this, we should also do them with different tonalities, lighter and darker. And also talking about the flippers, we shouldn't do them too rigid. What I mean is with a solid line that outlines them. Drawing them like that would look too stiff. That is why I try to make them a little bit blurry, to give them movement and life. What I mean is that in some areas, especially at the edges, they vanish gradiently, rather than with an outline. Now we draw the sea and make some waves in reflections on it. Good! The horizon line will be at about this height. Below this point will be all water. There are many ways in which we can draw a surface of a lake or a sea, and this depends on great degree on how agitated the water is. In this case, it will be pretty calm. Now we make her hair, which will be lifted up. For this, we use the software lead in the mechanical pencil. We do the last details and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.